Hi guys, it's Funk here from Scale Street Garage. Welcome back to another video. Um, this one is definitely a custom. It's the Corgi Junior's James Bond Lotus Esprit. And this is a special video and it's being built by my seven year old nephew Charlie. And it's called The Making of Jelly Bond. You'll see Charlie here is learning how to use the vice. He's still learning left, lefty loosey righty tighty. But he's he's getting there. We all have to learn. And we all learn something new every day. No matter how old we are. Just, just going to draw the rivets out. There's only three rivets on this. Um, I'm going to steady the drill whilst he pulls the trigger. So he's still actually drilling them out as such. I did ask him if he wanted to have a go at holding the drill, but he was a little bit too nervous. Don't want to go too deep on these because um, the back rivets not too bad, but the two front rivets are very, very shallow. In fact, the front posts are only about four millimeters deep anyway, um, so we don't want to drill too far down. One slight slip and you've gone straight through the bonnet. But we didn't want to do that, so we're just taking it nice and easy. We're not going to tap and screw this. The um, the the posts are way too short, so we'll we'll just use CA glue at the end to hold it together. It's going to be a shelf queen anyway. There you go. Now he's learning now how to lever things about. Give him a, a couple of years and he'll be taking everything apart, won't he? Especially if he's like his big cousin Kyle. <laughs> he used to take everything apart. Does it come off? It doesn't want to. Looking back, I wish I wish I hadn't seen him do that. One slip and it could have gone straight into his wrist. I remember that for the next one. go and it's it's a part so now time to remove the paint I know I don't wear gloves normally but I insisted that Charlie wore them And there we go, we're just about to use some of the, the dreaded, I want to call it crap. Um, it's a paint strippers I got from Screwfix. Um, if any, any of you are thinking of uh, trying it, I'd probably say try something else. I've only done a, a f couple of cars with this stuff and I think it's absolutely crap. I'm actually going to get some other... Um, some other brand but I'm going to use this up first with the with price of it don't want to waste it 
might as well use it it does what it says at the tin but it just takes so long to do it um, normally where nitro mods takes anything up to about two minutes this takes anything up to about an hour the other option was I could have used caustic soda but I thought mm, not with a seven-year-old um, definitely no way on that one So just making sure that every single part of this is coated. It's a bit long winded, I do apologise, but this video is mainly for Charlie. If any of you are wondering where the term Jelly Bond comes from, because this is the making of Jelly Bond, um, it's his idol. He has a, a YouTuber that he absolutely adores, and his name's Jelly. He's uh, a gamer, he does GTA 5 and Fortnite and all that lot. And Charlie worships him basically. So he's doing this one in dedication to, uh, to Jelly, so it's called Jelly Bond. So now, now that that's in there, uh, in soaking, waiting for the paint to decide to drop off. It's time for Charlie to clean the rest of it up. I love a child's imagination. Look at that. Nobody working. He can still make a car. <laughs> You'll need that, Charlie. And you'll need some of that. What's that, Uncle Keith? H2O. Oh, water then. Clever little sod. And you'll also need one of these. So what we're going to use, Charlie? Nanny B Super Rush. Once again, gets used a lot on these cars. She don't know yet. I was going to put it back, but I thought I said it might as well keep hold of it. I'll put it back tomorrow. She won't know. Just trying to get the wheels off, trying to show Charlie how to unclip them. There you go, Charlie. It's your turn there, mate. We'll put it down there so you've got something to lever against. Put a bit of pressure on it. And look at that. Boom. How they come? Perfect. There is actually some uh, degreasant in that water as well. It's it's not just pure water. And the only reason why I'm using degreasant in there, not soap, is we're going to paint these parts. They're in such bad condition. They're full of scratches, surface scratches, being plastic. Um. So we're, we're actually, well, I say we, Charlie is actually going to paint them. So I just want to make sure that there's no underlying grease on there.
is they're kind of cleaning the wheels as they don't get seen. He still wanted to clean them, so. Here we go, giving them a good clean as well. Good lad, I mean, you know, that's good on him. Just make sure that everything's clean. Just making sure. Right, all the paint did come off, and Charlie's now using the the rotor tool. It's only on low. It's only on number one. Um, it doesn't even matter if you hit your fingers with this, it doesn't, doesn't hurt you whatsoever. Uh, but it's good for bringing off the oxidation or oxidization, depends on what part of the world you're in. It's a bit like aluminum and aluminium. He's doing good. So for his first attempt with anything like this, he's, he's doing really well. So a few little tiny bits of paint just left behind so I'm just going to use a, uh, a spike to, to get them out. This is actually a, um, a needle cleaner for an airbrush, makes a perfect job of it. I normally use an old airbrush needle um, but unfortunately <laughs> I couldn't find it. I did find it later on, it actually rolled down behind the actual um, the, the cutting mat, so... Just getting out of all the nooks and crannies and he's, he's happy with it, so... On to the spray booth! And we always wear a mask. Just to show him he's never so I'm just showing him there where the air goes it goes in there along there up there and out through there um, as you'll see the filter is plumbed directly into um, an external fan now he's never used an airbrush I did show him how but he he, he needs two hands unfortunately so I'm going to turn the car. It's a bit difficult trying to teach a seven year old to slow down a little bit more, a little bit less. Um, so this is kind of hit and miss. I'm glad we did have the masks on for how far back he's just come. But as you'll see the ventilation's quite good, it just sucked all that green straight up. There 
he, he, he did quite well. He did, didn't do too bad. Didn't do too bad. I did tell him, you've put too much paint on the roof. And he said you didn't move it quick enough. So, it's my fault. We're only going with one coat, one liberal coat on this, and it doesn't doesn't come out too bad. Doesn't come out too bad at all. He 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 did okay. This way, teach him dip and wipe, dip and wipe, dip and wipe. You always need to wipe it once you've dipped it. And don't scrub it. Paint it. Nope. I forgot to wipe it. And I'll scrub it. I'll wipe it now. <laughs> I think this is the time when he should have worn the gloves. He's enjoying himself. And that's all that matters. Don't matter if it comes out absolutely spanking or if it comes out looking crap. Is enjoyed doing it, and that's that's the main thing. It's not meant to be a chore. We're, we're meant to enjoy it. Just remember, in the future, <laughs> it doesn't use the best brushes. Ta -da. And you don't see them, but I'm going to paint them. First off, he washes them, you don't see them. Now he's painting them, you don't see them. It took longer to get the paint off Charlie afterwards than what it did to, to get on the car. <laughs>
First we need to put the wheels on it, Charlie. So use one of these. It struggles a little bit. Bless. Let's give my hand. You push Charlie and I'll guide it. Teamwork. Ta da! Push. As I said earlier, we're, we're going to super glue these on. I'm not, not going to screw it. So. I'm going to use a bit of uh, baking soda just to sprinkle on top. What I've done was I, once we'd put the actual um, the, the base plates on, um, I just put a dab of super glue in each of the holes. So now when he puts uh, the baking powder on, it forms like a rivet head. Just making sure as it's pushed down onto it nice and tight. Brush away the excess. Everything's dried, and the the deck holes I've uh, I've already printed out. Uh, as you'll see, the the long deck holes are for um, another um, another project that he wants to do. And once again, it's another jelly one. So, as it's a scalpel, I'm just going to cut this out for him. He was actually offered the chance of cutting it out. Um, and then when he put the scalpel up, it, it was shaking that much. I mean, I'm, I haven't got steady hands anymore. Um, but he was a lot worse than I was. Now, he was just saying, uh, can he put one on the roof as well? And we said, well, it won't quite look right. So it, in the end, he agreed. And we're just going to go for a decal on the bonnet. Just checking here now to uh, make sure as it fits before we uh, before we fit it. Yeah, it's just right. I'm uh, I'm happy with these duck holes. These sheets I bought um, seems to be really really good. Um, obviously, it depends how uh, how you clear coat it as well. I use the Tamiya clear on these and it's worked out absolutely perfectly I'm just showing him there um, in a minute just check 
wet your finger and just touch it see if it actually moves slightly and if it does then it's ready to uh, to apply put some water on there actually use that It was a bit, it was a bit um, unsure, I think the word is, so I just did it myself. Now because when I printed it, um, the colour difference, I'm just going around the edge here, just touching in with a, a little bit of the, um, the lime green, the Tamiya greens we actually painted the car in. And it's time for the reveal. Remember what it looked like before, guys? And here it is now. You go agree. He's done a smashing job on this. Absolutely smashing job. Bearing in mind it's his first attempt and he's seven years old. And I'm proud of him. What do you think of the car I done you? I hope you like it. I hope you like it. Cheers for watching guys. Catch you later.